Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity for Free Reviews. I'm excited to be back, and I thought for a comeback I should do something kind of fun, something a little different, something I know you guys would be deeply interested in, and something you guys have also asked for a lot. Um, and that is a Kim Kardashian fragrance knockout. And I'm not going to do anything half ass I'm not going to leave any fragrance stone unturned. We are doing all 40 of fragrances that Kim has released. Both her previous line with Lighthouse Beauty and her new line with KKW Fragrances. Um, notice I am wearing a Taylor Swift hoodie. Choices were made. We all make choices. But that was a choice. <laughs> Choices. 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 <laughs> the thing here is, I am obsessed with the KKW fragrance line. Now, I do have reason to believe that Kim is involved, obviously. She posts a lot of stuff. But I know that she's not really deeply involved, just because, like... When you go into a creative venture, when you start doing things, you should be able to name things. And it says Crystal Peach. If you like our peach perfume that we had before, you guys will love this. And it comes with red aventurine. And, uh, yeah, Kim can't, obviously. And, um, I don't like how she references things in her own line. Like, if she's made it, she should reference it in a way that she remembers that she made it. Like, you should know the names for these things if you came up with them. But that being said, whoever the hell is working for her team is doing it wonderfully. I'm not trying to kiss ass. This video is not at all sponsored by Kim. Um, she probably will never... You know, no tea, no she... No, oh my god. Can we make the reference correct? No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, but... The, the girl has a great team working for her because packaging wise you guys know i'm a packaging queen and i'm just it we're gonna pull some of the kkw fragrance boxes first like first of all this is the box for body the the attention to detail first of all you have if i can even get this stupid camera to focus learning new technology i mean look, the kkw here on the front it opens up like, you know, it's got this cute little whatevers, but then also like, you got the rope that kind of unties, and then this whole thing kind of like, unveils like a fucking... Waffle! Okay. Like this whole, you got this whole ensemble, and then the fact that they came with these cute little, you know, things that gave you all the information about the fragrance there, about it. Like, it just, the attention to detail is mind-blowing on some of these. And I love packaging. I've told you guys that numerous times. You can completely win me over, obviously, by packaging. And that is why I do pay so close attention to this line. Because even though I'm not the biggest fan of her, per se, um, uh, obviously she's not the one, she's just signing off on this. Because there's no way that, like, obviously she comes up with some, up, up, comes up with some of these ideas. But the attention to detail and her just not being able to reference things, it makes it obvious that she's not at the helm of this. So, another one, this is the, uh, Diamonds box. These ones were... But, like, the drawer and just the the fact that each girl's name was there on the side of the box was just... And then you get into, obviously, the Crystal Collection, where each one of these, even the new ones, because this one's Crystal Peach, um, even they come with a little little envelope. I'm Every review you've seen has probably talked about these, where they come with these little cards. And it talks about, you know, this is the card, or this is the, uh, stone that's in there. And then it comes with legitimate pieces of, you know, whatever stone per se it may be. The, just the attention to detail, and even, like, on this little envelope, it does say KKW Fragrance. Like, 
it is all very well thought out and very well done and creatively just amazing. And I have to give it to Kim and her team for knocking it out of the park. Now, that being said, there are some times where there's misses and whatever. There's packaging misses where you could tell that whoever worked on one collection clearly didn't work on the other one or hadn't gotten high that day. Who knows? And just, I love the attention to detail that is on the KKW fragrance line. That being said, let's get into all 40 of the Kim Kardashian fragrances. First one that I... Mm, is Crystal Rose. Now, if you like potpourri type scents, if you like... Um, like that bowl of dried flowers that was on your grandma's back of her toilet, this will evoke that scent memory for you. At least it does for me. It's not a scent that I particularly love. Um, that's why it's the, the least on here. But I will say, the collector in me has an issue in the fact that we couldn't get these in this size because, like, I need consistency. I digress. Next up is Femme Fatale. This was the last fragrance that Kim released with uh, Lighthouse Beauty. And this is a very shitstorm of a white floral. Excuse that. But it the, they're not mixed well. It's very white floral. It's very heavy. It's very all of that. And it's just not mixed well at all. 38 is gold. And this is the first gold and not the second gold. We'll get to the second gold. But look at that reflection. That's fun. Um, there is different versions of this where they don't have the gold plate anymore. It just has like KKW. Or, ooh. It has Kim logo there, whatever. Um, this is an amber and white floral. Um, but there's something about this that also has like almost a licorice type note in it. And I don't like black licorice in the slightest so it's a no-go for me even if it doesn't have a licorice note in it which i know it doesn't i just i get that from it for some reason and i don't know why next in is crystal oud not the biggest oud fan not the biggest gardenia fan so not the biggest fan of this that being said spraying all 40 of these this room still smells like gardenia and I'm filming this the next day after I sprayed all of them. Um, so that one, that one. Next one is Crystal Peach. This one, as you guys saw in the little clip that I inserted earlier, this is the one that she's like, oh, if you love our Kimoji, or if you like our peach fragrance, then you'll like this one. Hell no. Um, unless my nose is broken. I get a little bit of the peach with the gardenia and the other white florals, and it's just, ugh, no, no. Next in is Crystal Gardenia, the original. Is this the original? Nope, this is, this is the original. Not a big gardenia fan, again, but this is a nice gardenia fragrance if you like gardenia. Um, just not the biggest fan of gardenia myself. Um, Gardenia Citrus, which I don't understand why this is pink. Um, the citrus in this does make Gardenia a little bit more wearable for me. Don't know how, not normally the biggest citrus fan, um, but it is. Next in is Kim Kardashian Love, again with the reflection. This is her wedding fragrance. This is the one that is, um, numbered on the back and signed by Kim. This, um, again with the Gardenia Heavy, this does have, like, a really lemony, um, like, a lemon pledge type scent to it, um, and it's interesting, um, but I do prefer it over the other ones. It's in the same rank as Crystal Gardenia and Crystal Gardenia Citrus, um, I just prefer it because it, uh, like, it's the limited edition one. Next up is Glam. Still wouldn't wear this one, but 
if we're going over wearability, I would wear this over Love just because it does have a little bit more of a um, sweet floral to it, but it still has, again, tuberose in it um, because the original Kim Kardashian. And at 31 is a tuberose, very sweet tuberose, very nice tuberose, but tuberose dominant fragrance. Uh, just not a big fan of tuberose myself. Next in at 30 is um another tuberose one but this one i feel like is done a little bit better just because of the meaning behind it and it is kkw and chris this does have a very similar vibe to the original K um, kim kardashian fragrance it just isn't as uh sweet and it's a little bit more grown up and whatever it may have you next in is body number one this one is again with the gardenia kim has a gardenia favorite like if you pay attention to whatever she says that her favorite one of the collection is when they release like two or more three together it's always the gardenia heavy one that kim likes so this one um again it is gardenia heavy but it does have this like sandiness to it, I which I like in the bottle is represented. Um, it just I don't. There's something about it I do kind of like, but I kind of don't at the same time. Next in is Kylie Pink. Um, again, these ones are kind of all in that same area. This one is Gardenia and Coconut. I'm not the biggest coconut fan. <coughs> Use my cough. Um, next in is Diamond Kim. Like I said, the ones that she says that she likes are all kind of similar. This is another Gardenia Heavy. Not the same as Crystal Gardenia, but again, not different enough that you necessarily need to be a collector like myself and own all of them. Red, which was the one that Kim said she liked the most. Again, a gardenia heavy not that far different from uh crystal kim and it is i guess a little sweeter than crystal kim crystal kim i guess is a little bit more airy if that makes any sense next in is body number two this one is the coconutty kind of one not the biggest coconut fan um but eh, i would wear gardenia if it was mixed with coconut i guess um pink chloe is next this one was supposed to be like the sweeter of them and i see that but just wasn't the biggest fan of that one either um it is just kind of like a again it was like a pinky white floral type of fragrance um then we have the ruby from the second round of diamonds this was definitely very dark, but I've smelled this before. Um, this isn't, this is not groundbreaking at all. I can't exactly pinpoint what I have, like what this smells like, but if I remember, I will pop a picture in because it's there. I just can't think of it right now. Um, next one is Wifey, and this was just a no. I love the color of the bottle. It's just, again, with that, it's a really warm floral, and there's just something really puts me off on it, and I am just uh, can't do it. Um, then was Batty, and it was the same way with this one. This is like a cr creamy, citrusy floral, I guess. It's just still something about it, just not, not like the first round of... Um, the KKW with that being said again with Kim not knowing her like knowing her line re-released the original and released wifey in with Bay and um BFF and it was BFF Bay and Ride or Die for the original ones I digress and it next is baby girl this one is the best of the three I guess but it's just Still very floral, very sweet floral without it being 
Then we have the Musk Bomb, which is vibes. This does have a lot of fruit in it, which does kind of save it. Like, I would kind of actually wear this. And I think, if I remember right, this is where we're kind of getting into the would actually kind of wear line. Yeah, because next in is... Ooh, if I can make these stay up. I have, like, all of them stood up on this whole thing over here. Next is Sapphire Chloe. This is a good one. This does have a slightly gourmand touch to it. I thought this was going to be my favorite of that collection, but it was not. Um, then next is the yellow diamond, which turned out to be my favorite. It's very warm, very nice. I like it. Um, it's just, there's also this like fizziness to it that I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, but I would actually still wear it. Um, next in is gold from the newest collection, from the newest hearts. I will say that just killed me. I'm a packaging whore, so when I saw that, I obsessed. This smells like expensive sunscreen. It almost smells like a specific sunscreen that I can't specifically put my nose on. Um, but... I don't like coconut, but that is well blended enough where it's kind of reaching into that coconut realm where I can wear it. Um, that being said about, um, can we not knock these over? Crystal Violet Musk, there's something about this one where it's really well blended, but there's something in it. I don't know if it's the lavender per se or what it is, but I'm not the there's just something that puts off on this, but I would still wear it again. Then, my, one of my favorites from the original Kim Kardashian line is True Reflection. This does have a floral and gourmand touch to it, but it does kind of reflect that old Hollywood that I feel like she was kind of going with with it. Um, it's very soft, it's very slightly sweet, but pretty. Um, but then we have Honey, which was the best one of all of them. Because this is a true honey scent through and through. This really does smell like syrupy honey without being too sickingly sweet to be like, ugh, I can't wear that. Um, then next in is the Nude one. This is the Vanilla E Gourmand, one of the Nude lips. And I do really actually like this one. Um, and I, I kind of reach for her every now and again, just when I'm in that mood. Um, okay, until we got so rudely interrupted by my battery dying. Rude. Anyway, next up is Kim Emerald. If I could not drop everything while I do this, again. Um, and based off the notes and everything, I thought I was going to hate this, honestly. And honestly, it's really nice. It's got this shampooiness to it. Um, definitely very emerald in color, but not emerald in color like Fancy Nights. Um, emerald in color in, like, the way that emerald color should, like, Emerald City, like, good Emerald City. Um, we're getting into the ones I really like, by the way. Next in is Silver from the newest ones. Excuse me. This one is very, very nice, very luxurious. Um... Slightly masculine, but definitely what I thought it was going to be. I'm very impressed by that one. But not quite as impressed as I am with Rose Gold, which Rose Gold is really, really nice. Um, I'm, I actually really like this one. Um, this has this quality to it that, like... It's just really, really nice. It's not what I thought it was going to be, and it's slightly gourmand. Um, and thinking it was going to be super rosy, I didn't think I was going to like it. But this is one of those rose fragrances I do actually enjoy. Um, we're in silver made top 10, just so you're well aware. So we're now at 8. Um, and in it, number 8 is Bay, Which, this should be no surprise, because these are the sweeter of the fragrances. Um, but this is my least favorite of the original three. Um, just because it does have coconut in it. But it is still really, really nice. It's still really creamy and really pretty. Just, I prefer not coconut, so that's why it's ranked lower. Next in is Kimoji Cherry. And this is, 
a really nice cherry fragrance. It isn't just, it just isn't quite what I was hoping it would be. I always will forever hope that any cherry fragrance release is going to be a Scottish cherry in the air, but tis my dreams not come true. Next in is Crystal Vanilla, and this is very well done. This is very Body Fantasies Vanilla, very similar to Katy Perry Mad Potion, but this is a little bit older, a little bit creamier. It's very nice. Um, it doesn't smell as cheap as Body Fantasies. Um, that is a very, very good one. Um, next in is Kimoji Peach. This literally, literally smells like peach rings. Um, in a fragrance. It's so freaking good. Um, I'm, I think this goes for a stupid amount of money online. But it is worth it. If you like peach fragrances that aren't... Like, if you know you're getting into something that's going to smell like peach rings and that's something you want to smell like, it is worth every penny. It is a great, great, great buy. Um, next one in is BFF. This one is one that was brought back, and rightfully so. It is super good. Um, it is the red berry-ish one of the ones, and it is still really, like, sweet and berry-like, but very, very good. Top three, this is, now I'm going to pause because we're going to pull out my handy dandy iPhone and go into Instagram because I had asked you guys, what do you guys think my top three will be? Two people responded. One person, I think, sh if they're watching this video, know that uh, they were already sadly not correct. Um, but... Let me pull this up. I should have been prepared. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, one person thought my top three would be body, rose, gold, and wifey. Now, while rose gold was quite up there, body and wifey are just not quite up there. Then somebody else thought it would be, um, the next one, which is my one of my top three. But they also thought Kimoji Peach, which top four, not bad. And then Nude Lips, which isn't quite top 10, but so close. But, ride or die. Um, this is, I've described this as the grape interpretation of um, Viva La Juicy. And it has no grape in it. It does have a very, very similar quality to Viva La Juicy, but it is still different enough that you, if you like Viva La Juicy, pick that one up. Because it is really, really, really nice. Excuse me, scratching my head. Then there's this one. Please ignore the fact that my bottle is just destroyed. Um, I took this with me to go see my best friend in California, and uh, she's seen better days. Uh, needless to say, I will know how to pack perfume on a flight again. Not how I did this. This is masculine, but also feminine. I've described this as... Wearing your boyfriend's hoodie and then spraying your perfume on it, but fresh out the dryer. Like, it is masculine and feminine, if that makes any sense at all. I love, love body number three. But not as much as my favorite one of all of them, which is Crystal, Pear, and Peony. This is, I have two puddles of this. This is sweet, it's candy-like, it's like rock candy and hard candy all at the same time. It's super good, it is... For forever, my favorite one. It does have a similar vibe to like VIP Private Show by Britney Spears, mm, but this is so good, and the fact that it's green just mm, tops it all off. So there you guys go. There is my collective review of all forty of the Kim Kardashian fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I didn't try to shit on her too much. I don't hate her, obviously. I don't know her, but I will say that another pompous asshole um, did a did a video on this and uh, just shit all over her and really didn't give the fragrances a chance. And I hate that. Like, regardless of who's behind the name, I always feel like you should give fragrance a chance because I hate when people pull the whole designer thing and be like. You realize that, like, your designer probably has less involvement in the fragrance than the, some of these celebrities, where they're actually sitting down at the table making some of the decisions for these. So, 
I digress. We're not going to get into how much I strongly dislike the said individual whose video did get taken down. Um, I just happened to go back to go show it to one of my friends, and it was gone. And it was I don't understand why it's gone. I mean, I understand why it's gone, but I don't understand why it's gone. I digress. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, at the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching, and I really am this time going to try to get back into doing more videos. Let me know what you guys think of this little camera change setup. If you guys enjoy it, if there's something I should change or do a little bit differently, please let me know. And also... And then, like, I had a cut because my battery died, and I'm 90% sure I'm confirmed that this room has a ghost. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, please help me name the ghost of the perfume room. Because, uh, things tend to just jump off shelves. And, uh, luckily nothing has been broken by the ghost of the perfume room. But, uh, said something, can I claim that on my insurance? I don't know. Good night, guys. Bye.